faker. I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. It seems you couldn't make it to my show, so I brought the show to you!
everybody, it is Wednesday night and you know what that means, it is time for the greatest wrestling show to ever grace your screens on a Wednesday night with brand new theme music brought to you by Tin Can Audio. Oh, I'm so happy that I got to play that for you. That was, oh, so fucking good. Joining me, joining me back on the desk after an extended absence is the the Taz to my Excalibur because he is, I know all the names of the moves and he is small and angry, and the Excalibur to my William Regal because he is a delectable little crumpet. Detective Barry. <laughs> I'm saying. How are you doing? Determined to embarrass me on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm good. That fucking music slaps. Right, doesn't it? Yeah. It's it's so amazing. I would clap, but I think the mic would peak and then nobody would hear it. <laughs> and if if a sad little streamer claps in a room on his own, did he even clap at all? <laughs> <laughs> if a streamer claps and the and Discord cuts it out, is anybody here to hear it? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um. Uh, anyway, here is a shout out to Tink and Audio. If you're not already, I've, I've raided into Tink and Audio so many times. If you're not following them already, go and do that now. They make, they made this, they made this music that you're listening to right fucking now, on stream last week on Monday. Monday, took, them, took t- Monday this was made, and now it's fucking on my show. I'm so happy. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, you were asking philosophical questions about clapping. Yeah. Um, I have no way to follow up on that. Um, no, I don't even know why you cut back to that. That was no. Uh, <laughs> that was I, an over conversation. You're being I a just, really just bad commentator. Like, right uh, now. We needed to draw attention to it. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we have such a fucking good show for you, and I know I say that every week. I know yeah, I say. Yeah, you do say that every week. We have a, we have a fantastic show for you this week, but I mean it this week. Like we are. We you are, mean it every week. I do mean as it if, every week. As if Wiz doesn't have you know just banger after banger every week. Like you're right. Wiz is no, just no, I'm so nothing right. but bangers, nothing yeah. but net all the goddamn time. Yeah. Uh, but this week we have we have both of our world champions in action. We have uh, we have big announcements for uh, September Scuffle, which is in two weeks' time. We are going all in for this one. Pun most definitely intended. No. Um, <laughs> wrong show. <laughs> Well, the, the Wednesday night wars are back again, but this time instead yeah. of NXT, it's NX me. Um... Well, look, all I'll say is we clearly have the step up on AW because, okay, yes, they've sold out Wembley, but we've never been to Wembley and therefore they can't prove that we wouldn't also sell yes, out Wembley. Yes, we, we would sell out Wembley. <laughs> Given the chance, I think, nine, I think 90,000 people would buy tickets to see the unthinkable horse in action live. Yeah. Just yeah, him. I think that they would. Yeah. The rest of the card completely unnecessary. Yeah. The unthinkable horse live in action versus God. Boom, yeah. sold out Wembley. Exactly. Like, and they can't prove otherwise because we've never booked Wembley. So. We've never booked Wembley, and we never will. Exactly. Because we don't want, we don't want to screen. embarrass everybody else. Yeah, that is true. We wouldn't want to show up every other wrestling promotion. Exactly. Really. Exactly. Um, but back to our wrestling promotion, which the, the, the best like, one. Yeah. The best one. Our opening contest this week is the one that we have. Is it for one fall with a 20 minute time limit? It is. It, th- th- <laughs> there isn't a time limit, but there should be a time limit. <laughs> As we learned yeah, last quite week, there frankly, should be time limits. How have you not learned your lesson by now? Be- because that requires going into the settings of every single match. <laughs> oh, <grim. laughs> You can't just change match defaults in this game. That's but so stupid. Our first match is indeed set for one fall, and it is the match. That sadly we had to cut last uh, last week, but we're putting them on. We're putting them on first to show that they are not forgotten. We are giving you Spider-Man versus Sub Zero. Now this feels like it's come out of nowhere, but remember a couple of weeks ago there was that really intense match, uh, Elsa versus Spider Gwen. Yeah, uh, yeah, we both, all remember that. We all remember that. That was banging. Um, they're both in the corners of these two men this week. This 
maybe the... Uh, I, I didn't know. realize men have corners, to be honest. Is that, like, do you have to get that? Like, do trans men have to get, like, corner surgery to, like, add yeah, a corner? Yeah, that, that, that's, that's, uh, that, that's what top surgery is. It's giving you corners. It's, it's rounding yeah. out the shoulders to give them corners. Um, yeah, that's not what rounding out is, but I appreciate no, the hustle. The I appreciate of rounding what you're out. going for. The opposite of rounding out. You know what I meant. <laughs> what? Unrounding. Yes. What, what's, the, what's the opposite of rounding? Chiseling uh, down. <laughs> I can't say edging. I, 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 I was no. about to say edging as well, but we can't call it edging. <laughs> we, can't, we can't say that. We'll never get away with it. Chattel <laughs> eat us alive. Jedi's getting their corners in two weeks. Hell yeah. <gasps> we High love five corners. corners. Bully for you. <laughs> Did you say bully for you? A yeah. young Victorian gentleman now. Uh, well, my name's Isaac, so clearly I'm a Victorian orphan. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, and um, what is a Victorian orphan but a, a Victorian gentleman that's just a bit younger? Yeah, I mean, exactly. So, I don't think that's how orphans or gentlemen worked back then, but like, you know, Italian, I'm not going to Google it. My head. I'm not going to Google it. Chat don't know any better. We're just spreading <laughs> misinformation on the internet. Chat don't at me. <laughs> Actually, chat, please do at me. I crave your attention. Um... <laughs> don't at me. I don't have anything for you to at me at. <laughs> Everyone at Zach in Twitch chat now. Um, no. Meanwhile, shall we cut this nonsense to go down to the ring for our first uh, our first match of the night? You know, whenever somebody says meanwhile, I, do you know, I think it must meanwhile. have been a Monty Python thing. Yeah, I always think of that. Whenever somebody says it, I always think of the Monty Python. Meanwhile. <laughs> There's also the, the, the Tom Scar Meanwhile series, if, if it's not Monty Python. Oh, no, it's not that. Like, it's an old, it's an old I, thing. Uh, but anyway, meanwhile, <laughs> there is a wrestling show happening. <laughs> uh, shall we go down to the ring for Spider Man vs. Sub Zero, the sequel to Spider Gwen vs. Elsa? Yes is the answer. Yeah, we yeah, so. yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> I had the first half of that. I was too busy it. thinking of, I'm sorry, I was too busy thinking of meanwhile. <laughs> meanwhile, back at the ranch. I'm assuming that's probably a sick American reference that we don't understand, Eden. Probably. Uh, I'm going to put a prediction. We're uncool and not American, <laughs> and therefore inferior. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Spider Gwen. From Queens, New York, weighing in at 206 pounds, Spider Man. Spider-Man, uh, new, new, new theme music uh, of, of recent weeks. Uh, you know, we kept asking what's in his headphones as he comes to the ring. This is what yeah. is actually in his headphones. We actually asked yeah. him, and it was this. Uh, he calls it his graffitiing music. Um, yeah. I've made, I've made uh, Matt the janitor go and check the walls. Yes. But who are we to... Uh remove artistic expression from our wrestlers anyway so i mean true i i, I wouldn't stop him graffitiing like if spider and graffiti is on my wall suddenly i just want the, pictures of it i want to see it yeah suddenly <laughs> the theater is worth twice as much now but yeah exactly but alas. this may be the first time we've seen If it was literally anybody other than Jedi saying I had a strange dream involving Spider-Man, I would not trust that, and I would not ask about it. <laughs> I would ask no follow-up, but Jedi exactly. is a good being, too, and therefore yeah. it would not be a weird <laughs> That is thing. too dangerous a lead-in if it was anyone other than Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> He had a spider. Spider Man, other Spider, bad Spider Man has a sister. Well, not a not a sister, but a, a female clone. Uh, but yes, I think this is the first time we've actually seen Sub Zero in like singles action. Um, he appeared in the Rumble. Um, but I, I thought think, we'd I thought we'd had him in once or twice after the Rumble, and then he vanished again. I mean, not to call him a jobber, but he did sort of play jobber duty. Um, well, you know. Jobber is as Jobber does. True, but uh, he's found he's found a he's found a friend in Elsa. Um, maybe this could be maybe this could be his big push. Two two cold fighters coming together. When a wrestler is lost, oftentimes it is a a team that will bring them back from the brink of jobbership. 
I like his hat also. And his nice yeah, coat. Yeah, I like his hat. Is a jobber the same as a jabroni? No. But okay, what's the okay, difference? Okay, all jobbers are jabronis, but not all jabronis are jobbers. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's like squares square, square <laughs> and rectangles. Yeah, yeah, um, okay. Oh, beautiful swing and DDT there from Spider Man out of the gate. What was with that pose? What, the, are you talking about Sub Zero like up on the corner? I do that pose in the ring all the time. It's great. <laughs> I do it to avoid it's getting It's literally speared. the perfect wrestling fun. pose, and anyone that says otherwise. I, I do it to avoid getting speared, so it's got it's actually got tactical stuff when I do it. <laughs> I'm not just being a dick like <laughs> Sub Zero is. I mean, I'm also being a dick, but... <laughs> oh, and there's Snake Eyes from Spider-Man in the corner. Spider-Man kind of in control about now. Giving a quick boot to Sub-Zero and... Oh, leg drop on the apron, the hardest part of the ring. Spider-Man in really, full control. I really like this Spider-Man's outfit. I I am really partial to Big Pant. You are, you are Team Big Pant. I, the, I think I am. In Big Pant it, versus Big Jacked, you are very much Big Pant. Uh, yeah, I am Big Pant, uh, except there is one There is one character who I'm like, I much prefer Big Jacked. Um, and that is fucking... <laughs> Dojo and Daigo in fucking Yakuza 2 with his stupid ass oh, he's, teenage he's got puffer a jacket. stupid Big Jacked. <laughs> He's like a fucking 17 year old in a 30 year old man's body and it's hysterical every time. And that is peak character design. That is peak character design. Speaking of, beautiful springboard bulldog from Sub-Zero gets the cover. Just a one count. Spider-Man kicking out straight away from that. Oh, very sharp DDT though. Right on the spider noggin. And I mean, go going back to Spider-Man's perfect costume design. Yeah, he's yeah. he's avoided the pitfall of the superhero spandex, which is the crotchular region. Yeah. With with big pant, uh, big pant yeah. is always the answer. Unless your big jacked uh, covers the crotchular region, like it's That's that true. big. That would also uh, basically super superheroes need either big pant or big jacked. Yeah. Oh, very sharp low drop kick there. Turn Sub Zero inside fucking out. That was incredible. Again, Sub Zero is trying his best, but Spider Man just that half a step quicker. Big Tiaris there from uh, from Spider Man. Oh, Sub Zero trying to power through. Oh, Schoolboy rolls through and a big super kick straight to the face, and a drop kick to the back of the head as well. Maybe this is Sub Zero's chance. Oh. Spoke too soon. Spider-Man now, repetitive kicks to the back, picks Sub-Zero back up, and ooh, a well-positioned dropkick there. Sub-Zero having to pull himself up by the ropes. Dangerous position to be in. So many times you've seen people speared off the ropes with that, and Spider-Man taking a different approach. Almost a stunner there onto the, onto the apron. Sub-Zero just flopping off. But, uh, oh, back in control on reverse DDT on the outside there, almost back in control. A little bit of a, a little bit of an Eddie Guerrero there from, uh, from Sub Zero. I think that maybe getting in the head of Spider Man, who, of course, as we know, does a lot of Eddie Guerrero's moves in the ring, proud as every Latino wrestler does. Yeah, and I think Miles is half Latino, I'm not sure. Up to a seven count. Both 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 wrestlers there. Very cordially returning to the ring. Almost like going, okay, we're done. We're done on the outside. Let's return to the inside. And then as soon as they get back in, spy down with a rolling drop kick. I, I I'll be honest, I've not seen Sub Zero wrestle uh, a fair bit. I don't quite know what his style is, but he is very much struggling to let me know in this match. Spider Man really has his number. <laughs> oh, skip slam from Sub Zero. Big reverse DDT. Whenever somebody does a face in the armpit move, I always think of uh, that Bob's Burgers episode with the Norwegian <laughs> stink bomb. <laughs> oh. oh, near fall there from Sub Zero out of nowhere with that uh, Scorpion Death Drop Senton combo. 
Is a scorpion death drop just a, a Norwegian stink bomb? I mean, basically, yeah. You'll, you'll you would just need to hold him longer. <laughs> I mean, when Sting does it, they're there for a while because he's got to do all of his showboating. Yeah, that's true. Ooh. That, well, I suppose that would just be a Sting stink bomb or something. Yeah, a Norwegian sting bomb. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Leg DDT followed by a, uh, a regular DDT. Spider-Man, though, saw Sub-Zero go for the ropes and went for the rollout to stop the stop the plan in its tracks. Oh, springboard dropkick to the back of the head, though. Sub-Zero half a step quicker there. Beautiful combo. And that traditional Mortal Kombat leg sweep gets the cover. Spider-Man, though, grabs that rope. And uh, this referee, who I don't think we've named, Marie. I think we named her Marie. Yeah, she uh, got named Marie last week. Yes, she knows what a rope break is. Yeah. I still think we should have gone with something cool, like Freya. Some I mean, kind we can of call her Freya if you want. goddess name or something. Oh. oh, I think we're about to see the swing one nine from Miles Morales. The, the tiger faint kick connects, and now he's running up to the top rope. Could this be it? You're going to see the frog splash. There it is. Gets the... No, no cover. Oh, a little bit late. And Spider-Man gets the win. It was that beautiful swing one nine frog splash combo. Incredible moves from, from Miles Morales. And I think if we take these two teams as teams, that evens the score at one apiece. Yes. Because Elsa beat, Elsa beat Spider-Gwen a couple of weeks ago. And here, Spider-Man tying it up. I'm not sure if this is all over between these two teams, but what a show from Spider-Man. What an absolute showing. I think I, th that, that, was, that was an incredible match. And, and I don't want to say Sub-Zero. I mean, it, it certainly was an amazing match for Spider-Man. It was quite embarrassing for Sub-Zero. But... <laughs> yeah, I don't want to say that he, again, like struggled to get off the starting blocks because he did have some good offense in there. I don't want to say he's a jobber, but he's been a fucking jobber. <laughs> he's, he, he's, he's, he's doing the job just a little bit, isn't he? Um, yeah. <laughs> but but I, I think there's, there's promise in there of, of a real talented wrestler. We, he, he showed he could outpace Spider-Man just once or twice. Uh, very good, like, targeting of the legs, targeting of the head. It's... it's I think he's just punching above his weight at the moment. Yeah, maybe. Or, you know, maybe he just needed some breath, you know? Maybe he was just low blood sugar, was like, mm, not feeling it. Maybe. Yeah. It anyway, you know? Maybe he did just need some bread. Uh, yeah. shout, out, shout out to bread. Um, yeah, honestly, <laughs> shout out to bread. Like, an unsung hero, honestly. Um, shout out, bread. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go and follow bread. <laughs> Oh my god, of course that's a person. <laughs> I didn't know Brad was an actual channel. They might be a dickhead, don't follow them, this is not an endorsement. Uh, but shout out to the concept of Brad. <laughs> oh my god, recently streamed categories, Call of Duty Warzone. Don't follow Brad, I retract that shout out. <laughs> I was just trying to make a fun joke. Ah, um... Of course somebody called themselves Brad though. Of course, uh, of course. Like... Probably for this exact reason. Yeah, like, I mean... What if somebody shouts me out, you know? What, what if people are just talking about bread and want to shout out bread, you know? Yeah. Who am I to, who am I to take that away from anyone? Yeah. Um, anyway. <laughs> Sub, Sub Zero. Eat a sandwich before the match. Like, a good hour before, maybe you'll perform a little oh, okay. bit better. okay, I don't think they actually stream. Oh, They've okay. got a lot of followers. Oh my god, they're Twitch staff. They're staff? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely don't follow bread. <laughs> um, away from bread. <laughs> close, oh, close no. twitch.tv slash bread. Um, let's let us return to wrestling is silly once again, uh, because we're going to the to the best part of wrestling is silly. That's right, it's women's division time. Um, and don't worry, this won't be the only time we're in the women's division. This ain't AEW. Um, our first women's match for tonight is a singles match, is scheduled for one fall, and it is between two of the most impressive women we have seen so far in this division. And that is one hell of a fierce competition. And these two, if I recall, have never gone one-on-one -on -one in singles action. I'm talking about Alice Little, Bayonetta. These two have both been on a fucking hot streak. 
have they not gone singles action together? I don't think so. Um, I may be They've wrong. They definitely fought though, haven't they? I think they were. They were. They were Women. in. Uh, these two and two B were in the first round of the women's tournament together. They've never gone on in singles action. Right. Together. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That's why I'm getting confused. Yes. Uh, and and they have both since that match. They have both been red fucking hot. Mm -hmm. um, rarely taken an L, either one of them. And as well as tough, these two are vying for the title. Bayonetta especially, she still has that chip on her shoulder about that title. Mm -hmm. But uh, Alice, uh, she's fierce, she's nasty, she's... Where, where, how, do you, how do you feel about this match? I know you're quite invested in both of these both of these performers. Well, th this is the problem, right? Like when, <laughs> when you've got two performers that you've been really, really invested in, it's really hard to then go, I think X is going to win, I think Y is going to win. Because mm -hmm. th they both absolutely have claim to the, the victory here. They do, like, they really do. Like like you said, you know, they've rarely lost to anybody else. They're both on a massive tear. Who knows how this is going to play out? I mean, there's, 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 there's only really one way to find out, and that is to go down to the ring and yeah. uh, let these two BS competitors duke it, duke out. it out. Let's go. Let me know I about like volumes and things, by the way. This this music's great. Yeah. Shout out to American McGee. Don't fucking shout them. Shout them. <laughs> that would actually be American McGee's Twitter account. Yeah, though. it would. <laughs> she is all fierceness. She is all action. She is nothing but net. All business. And we talk a lot about a lot of the women's version fighting in, in heels, but those boots are dangerous. Yeah. Those fucking... I had a pair of boots like that when I was a teenager. Except with higher platforms. I mean, they were dangerous then and these are dangerous now. Yeah. Oh yeah, th that's more just evidence like I know what I'm fucking talking about when yeah. I say they pack a bunch. Oh yeah, if... if I, I'm surprised there's not more like kicks in Alice's um, moveset because she... she Maybe would... she struggles to lift her legs with those things on. <laughs> What, what, I she, know she, I used to. I mean, she does that. She does that like rainbow splash, the the curious splash. I mean, mm. she's got to get her legs up for that. So maybe maybe she's preserving leg energy. She doesn't want lactic acid to build up. True, that's got to be it. I don't think there could be two more different entrances. No. <laughs> and they're both so good. Mm -hmm. Perfection in different categories. Yeah. Pyro, one of the pyro guys really loves Bayonetta. The other one, not so much. Hmm. And yeah, this this song, this song, fucking, I love, I adore this song. Beautiful track. Who'd have thought "Fly Me to the Moon" would ever uh, mm. be in a Platinum Games game? But here we are. Now, did Sub Zero see Bayonetta doing that and steal it in practice, or did Bayonetta go, yeah, "Hey, that looks real cool. I'm taking that." Yeah, maybe she thought she'd get away with it because he's never on fucking television. You know? <laughs> yeah, when Bayonetta does it, it's hot as fuck. Yeah, I mean, not wrong. How dare you? Sub Zero <laughs> is very attractive. Sub Zero implies the existence of Dom Zero. Maybe he'd <laughs> make a good wrestler. Fuck off. <laughs> and also, switch zero. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile in the ring, Alice Alice in full control. A, a rare moment of weakness from Bayonetta. And those big beefy boots connect with the face of Bayonetta. Uh, I, I suppose th this match is very much uh, unstoppable force and movable object. One of them had to give. True, true. 
Um, big splash over from top rope, taking Bayonetta down on the on the outside. Alice with the choke now. Oh, flattening Bayonetta. The cho a choking STO. Bayonetta's head hitting the apron on the way down. You're just wrenching at the legs of Bayonetta. Alice really dominant this this match. Again, a rare, rare moment of weakness from Bayonetta. Mm -hmm. But like you said, one of them had to give. And I think Alice just got to the mark first. Sharp elbow drop there. The phrase, maybe the lesbianism is influencing my opinion, is phenomenal. That's what, great. It's one for the ages, that is. That is it absolutely... It really is, like, quote of the century. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Bayonetta finally back on her feet, manages to throw Alice away and get her, get back into the ring. Maybe not the time to be showboating though. Alice hot on her tail. The waist lock and the Russian leg sweep. You can't help it, okay? She's got to have a little showboat as a team. True. Especially what is, what is Bayonetta if not a showboater? Exactly. Huge, huge splash off the middle work from Alice. Gets the cover. That was closer than I thought it was going to be. Alice nearly taking a, a quick pin off of Bayonetta. Bayonetta, they're getting a boot up. Even even a, even an elbow drop, she makes extra as fuck. Yeah, and we love that for her. We do. Queen shit. Bayonetta now getting the cover. One count, Alice kicking out. <laughs> Fucking Alice weren't having any of that. No. Oh. Oh, sharp backbreaker though by Bayonetta. Alice now the one having to take the emergency exit just to catch her breath. And now, oh. Bayonetta, I think, went for the DDT there. Didn't quite get it. And, oh, Alice with the sleep. And the. Oh. The clothesline was interrupted, and Alice managed to turn it into, into a very, very nice STO there. Maybe there's more technical to her than I thought. Oh, is she standing on the hair of Bayonetta and just wrenching at the arms? I that's think so. come on, come on, that's that's cruel. And now, now, now at the face as well. Come on, come on, Freya, break it up. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gus. I understand why you didn't break it up. Now it's you. <laughs> Suddenly, it all makes sense. Gus has got bigger things to take care of right now. Oh, and then. Tombstone face buster from Bayonetta out of nowhere. And Alice, though, taking advantage of another bit of showboating, flattening her, getting the cover. Just a one count, Bayonetta, quick to kick out of that, though. This, I, I mean, I put these two together to get, a, to get a good women's match with no pretense, but this could be the start of a rivalry. There's a lot of emotions in this match right now. Again, Alice with the choke and the big trip. And into the the reverse DDT going down the rabbit hole. Alice gets the cover. Bayonetta grabbing the rope and in a rare moment of clarity, Gus recognized the rope break. Oh my God, Gus, are you feeling okay? Shout, shout out to Gus for recognizing a rope break. Alice now dragging Bayonetta away. Couldn't quite get the cover in time, though. And, oh, knees directly to the chest and a backflip rin to another one. Oh, she's going to the top. I think we might be seeing that curious splash. There it is. Oh, right across the chest. Gets the cover. Could this be a vein? Huh? Wow. Well, oh, shit. Alice getting the win quite in quite short fashion as well. Yeah, that wasn't that long. It was a short and very decisive victory from Alice. I mean, not the shortest. Let's not, you know, and it wasn't a squash match. Disservice. It was no squash match, but for it was on the shorter side, though. The two competitors of that caliber, she she dominated absolutely yeah, dominated and yeah i i i i kind of feel for bayonetta right now she was she was on a tear she was going all out she she had she had the title in her sight 
and now um where where are we all we oh we are we are currently in in lara croft's training facility um in exchange for being here she she does have the opportunity to join Wrestling Silly whenever she wants. She's just been busy. Um, but yeah, Bayonetta had the title in her in her sights and now taking a very, very short, a very, very quick loss to Alice. That's mm, interest, interesting developments in the women's division. But then we're so we're so new in, in Wrestling Silly for the women's division. It's it's difficult to have any one loss be incredibly meaningful, you know what I mean? You say that, but the women's division has been going a couple of months now. A few months, isn't it? I mean, yes, it, 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 it's been going a good few months at this point. Um, wins and losses are starting to add up. They're starting to mean something. Um, we, we were... But very... yeah, yeah, we are we are still early days. Yes. Um, it, it'd be interesting to see if Bayonetta can bounce back from this. If she still... Do you think she still has that claim on the title that she thinks she does? Well... I don't want to say this nicely. I'm not sure she ever had the claim she says she does, right? <laughs> like, I, I think she has claim to it. I think that, you know, she's a really good wrestler and I think she deserves a shot at it. Do I think it was robbed from her? No, I don't. Yeah, I you know? I think you're about right there. I don't, I don't think she had the title robbed from her. I don't think she had the smiley case robbed from her, like, the way she yeah. does. Um, and... Meanwhile, on the other side, Alice just sort of slowly bubbling away, building wins, getting getting to be kind of a formidable force. Well, she was always a formidable force. She was our first winner. I mean, like, that's, the, that's very true. You can't take that away from her. Like, I don't know. She just kind of feels like she's always kind of bubbling under mm -hmm. the surface. Like... I she... kind of want to say she's a bit like Garfield at the women's division, but like it's <laughs> not quite the that. Women's division. But like, you get what I mean though, like it's, you know, she's a really formidable fighter when she comes out, people are happy for it and shit like that. But at the minute, she's kind of just on the periphery, you know? Yeah, I, I, I don't know if, um, I don't know if Lara, if, sorry, not Lara, somebody in chat mentioned Lara, I don't know if <laughs> um, Alice wants a title shot i don't know if alice is here to win titles or if Again, she's just here to like fight garfield. much oh like garfield you, you, <laughs> yeah i was i was agreeing with you um yeah i, I it's 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 an interesting um an interesting sort of place to sit on the roster because a lot of wrestlers will say if you're not here for a title why are you here alice very clearly knows why she's here and she just wants to beat up some other women yeah and it's Which successful is, i mean you know, fair. Yeah, sometimes you just want to. We, su we fight. support women's rights and women's wrongs here. <laughs> wrestling is silly. We do, we do. Um, we must, however, depart the women's division very briefly. Uh, do. As, as uh, your your men's world champion Colonel Sanders has de <laughs> has demanded your attention. He is taking on Bowser in singles action. An interesting choice of an opponent. We've not seen a lot of Bowser recently. Um, no, I can't but, remember. He went skulking off somewhere. He skulked some off after uh, after the, the after the I can't remember what they were called. The Dangerous Alliance of, of uh, Donkey Kong and Bowser. After they split up, Bowser sort of skulked away, like you said. Um, but yeah, that could be why the, why Sanders is uh, is chosen to fight him because one he looks angry he looks big and threatening but he is not fantastic in the ring he I mean he's hardly a main eventer and the colonel we're seeing it becoming inf increasingly fragile recently he's just such a fucking coward right he's, like, he's taken i'll his, say it he, he's taken his second ever pinfall loss against pepsi man a few weeks ago and since then he's been he's been hiding um, he was he was injured briefly uh, after the attack from Garfield. He was injured briefly, but um, yeah, he's now cleared again, and he's and he's returning to action in one on one against Bowser. Yeah. A strategic play, I think. Um, yeah. But hey, I mean, it's still the Colonel. I still think he's gonna win. But yeah. He's, I don't he's, like it. But he's looking less and less untouchable by the week. 
Also, I'm going to answer the question in chat since you like clearly read it and then just didn't answer it because you're a bad I was host. Getting better, I was getting back around to it. <laughs> you are such a liar. It would be OG Lara. It would and be that's OG in, Lara, yeah. That's entirely selfishly because that those are the games I played. <laughs> oh yeah, it, it would be I like never original played any of the remakes. Lara Croft. We, we, I never played any like... of the remakes. No, me yeah. neither. Um, it would be like original run. Um, yeah. Sort of PS1 era Lara Croft. Um, anyway. Oh, I'd, I'd go up to Legend. Yeah, yeah. That, but, <laughs> Legend but again, that was, was not, that, but I liked it. But that was still sort of the, the same the same Lara Croft. It no. Wasn't like, like, no? no, it's not. After they did, um, after they sort of did Anniversary and like remade the, uh, and remade the first one, <laughs> like it, it was different. I, like, I don't know how to describe it, you just have to play it. <laughs> But yeah, like the first ones are like different, yeah. and then there's sort of the the three like um, I think the they would have been Xbox 360. 360. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, nostalgia and a little bit of hometown pride for for OG Lovecraft. Yeah. Uh, exactly. The, the the second best thing to come out of um, the second best thing to come out of Derby, the first one being this show and us two. Yeah. We are currently in the bread aisle, and I think it's time to. I was gonna say you as the. Uh... It's 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 this partnership that is the best thing to come out of. Yeah. Okay. I'll give it that. Um. Hey, shout out to bread. We're in the bread aisle right now. Yeah. Um, but don't actually don't shout, shout out to bread. bread. Um, <laughs> and we're gonna go out of the bread aisle, and we're gonna go right down to the ring. Colonel Sanders. I like how everybody forgot uh, Tomb Raider Underworld as well. Uh, oh yeah, that was the thing. <laughs> <laughs> it was the last one in that sort of three. Yeah. Anyway, I'll show up talking about Lara Croft now. <laughs> Maybe if Colonel Sanders was interesting, I wouldn't want to talk about Lara Croft, am I right? Fucking dab on him. Got him. You got, you got him. I did. Can we ban Hannah? <laughs> we can't ban Hannah for a bad video game opinions. Why, though? Because there's too many of them. I would like to. <laughs> I would like to ban her. <laughs> he used to come in, tight around his waist, all all happy and... And, and now What is he's... this music? Was this always his music? I don't feel like this was always his no, music. No, this was always his music. Um... Well... I think he needs to downgrade. This music is too good. <laughs> but he used to come in all, all happy and, and, you know, tight around his waist, and now he's literally holding it by the skin of his teeth. Metaphor? Perhaps. Oh my god, we could we could have him come in to, um, oh my god, what's that song? The, uh... uh fast Food uh, Rockers. Pizza Hut. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, let's get him into Fast Food Rockers. That's more his speed. I like how you knew what song I was going for before I even fucking started. It's the only the song about bit. chick. It, only song that mentions KFC. Yeah, that's true. All right then, fair, 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 fair. Well, that we know of. Oh, we could do. Um, okay, I thought of a second one that we could do that is not the fucking Fast Rockers. We could also do uh, "Sucking on My Tendies." Sucking on my tendies. That's yeah. that would that would be a banger. Um, and we know that Hot Dad are down for letting people use it. That's true. That's true. So we could get in contact with Hot Dad and be like, "Can we use your song?" If he ever loses the title, he will. He will change his music to "Tendies" by Hot Dad. <laughs> in fact, do you know? No, that's too good a song. You can't have that one either. <laughs> Everybody, go and listen to "Sucking on My Tendies" by Hot Dad. It's a good song. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bowser came to the ring. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I don't care about Bowser. This match is stupid. I just want to talk about Lara Croft and <laughs> Tendies. Chicken Tendies and Lara Croft, the, the full yeah. Zack experience. Yeah, which is hysterical because I'm a vegetarian, so... You can have veggie Tendies. <laughs> yeah. You had veggie Tendies tonight. <laughs> and they were really good. I think that's why I've got Tendies on the brain. You do have Tendies on the brain. <laughs> Got Tendy Brain right now. <laughs> In the ring, though, Bowser fully dominating Colonel Sanders, throwing him hither and dither. Oh, 
Oh, Colonel, the Colonel <laughs> went for the interruption there. Bounced Tried off the shell. Bowser in the butt. <laughs> Forgot that he had a uh, a turtle shell. Um, yeah. And another one of those huge discus lariats connecting. The Colonel having to roll out of the ring again. He's looking. In, it's a shame to see another title run go this way, but he sees. I think he can see the writing on the wall, and he's getting desperate. And the same thing happened with Superman. The same thing happened with Mr. M. Thankfully, he could stop himself before he hit the barrier, but couldn't stop the massive bulldog right face first into those mats. Now, Bowser with the waist lock gets, transitions the headlock and just <laughs> sometimes can't argue with the punch in the face, you know. Sometimes you just got to keep it simple, stupid. Yeah. I mean, a punch, everyone's got a face. Everyone, uh... Everyone has a punchable face. Yeah. Oh, that one might have bust open the kernel, though. I don't think that's uh, Zinger sauce on his face right now. Oh, managed to slip out the back gate. Oh, and the rising knee. Beautiful from Colonel. Back. Maybe seeing his own blood might have woken him up. And now stomping on the head, the back of Bowser. And, oh, big knee strike there. Colonel's seemingly finally woken up. Double leg takedown. And, like we said, everyone's got a face and everyone's face hurts to punch. Yeah. And another big knee strike. Gets the cover. Oh, Bowser kicking out at one. Showing he is not to be fucked around with. Kick to the side of the head, takes him back down though. Here's the thing with, with people like Bowser, they're not quick. So as soon no. as you can outpace them, it's very hard for them to recover. Yeah, unless they can literally, um, like unless they have sort of the endurance to out, to outlast them being quicker, if that makes yeah. sense. And Bowser, though, with those repeated backbreakers getting the cover. Just kick out at one, though. Colonel again having to take that emergency exit. Club to the back of the head. Oh, no. Up on the top, are we going to see the Bowser's edge? Oh! Shoulders back, smashed into the pine there. Gets the cover. And Bowser gets the win. The Colonel, though, adamant to show he is still champ. But Gus, Gus is here. Gus, as we know, the current smiley case holder. Seemingly trying to get in the head of the Colonel there. And I mean, it seems to be already in his head because that was quite an embarrassing loss. Yeah, living there rent free now. Hmm. And I mean, it was it was very interesting to see. Even after the pinfall uh, loss, he still got up and celebrated with the belt because well, he is still the yeah. Champion. Well, it's basically all he's got left, isn't yeah. it? So, but uh, like, you know, but Gus um, coming out with that coming out with that little showdown. Currently, the smiley case holder, um, and clearly wants to make himself known. Um, and and after, after a loss like that. I don't see the Colonel being champ for much longer. No, I would agree with that. Mm -hmm. It's... Uh, I mean, it's been a long time coming though, hasn't it? I mean, yeah. how long has he been he's, he's champion been, now? He's been champ for almost a year now. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah. That is a that is a good fucking run. Mm -hmm. I think it's been eight months. Um, it feels longer. It feels like we've never had another champ, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think he took it off Superman. Uh, at it was at Deck Halls, so yeah, it's it's been like this entire year. It's been Colonel yes. Sanders. Um, or was it not the fight birthday? No, 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 no. no. It was it was Deck Halls. Um, was it okay? But yeah, I'm pretty sure I booked that one. <laughs> oh no! So I remember it's because I think for for the fight birthday, I had the uh, eight man food division back yes. when that was a thing. Rip food division. Rip food division. Um. No, that was where Colonel Sanders from won that, the. That was when Colonel Sanders won the food title. 
Yeah, um, and then we had the unification. Match. Yes, he because yeah. he, he, he got the smiley case, and then he cashed in the smiley case to unify the titles once uh, Superman had done the fight before Christmas and yeah, was like bottom, yeah, 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 bottom yeah, of the yeah. energy tank. Yeah. But yeah, I've I I think the writing might be on the wall for the Colonel, but is Gus the one to do it? No. I mean, wrestling maybe. Is, wrestling is silly world <laughs> champion, Gus. I, maybe. I, I don't hate it. I mean, the answer is no, but maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Before we go to break, um, speaking of the fight birthday, to, to, to loop that, that in, um, yeah. we we had somebody send in a message uh, for not only uh, Kiryu but also Sonic Generations, and that somebody was Matt from the Springfield Sports Center. So, uh, if you're ready, uh, let's, let's yeah. take a look at what Matt had to say. Sonic Generations, you don't seem to get it. We run this division. We run this company. The Springfield Sports Center are the only real fighters in this entire damn company. The rest of you are amateurs, getting by on technicalities and tricks. Oh, and Kiryu, Ichiban, don't think we've forgotten about you sticking your nose into our business. Trying to prove you're still relevant after we took your titles and broke up your little team. We're talking to you as well. One cage clearly wasn't enough to keep you in check, so how about we add another? Call it war games, call it blood and guts, call it whatever you like. At September Scuffle, we're locking the four of you in this cage, and you're not leaving until you realize that we are the future of this company. And you're nothing but a group of amateurs. The four of you, the four of us, two rings, and one big cage. Oh, I said four. We have one last surprise. But that Blood can wait for later. Guts. Blood and guts. Blood and guts. It, it, it appears to be a blood and guts match, or a war games match, depending on if you're nasty. Blood and guts. The Springfield Sports Center have challenged Kiryu, Ichiban, and Sonic Generations to a blood and guts match. Well, if that ain't the Sega Dreamcast, I don't know <laughs> what it is. <laughs> Fucking dab, 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 that dab. Beautiful, incredible, <laughs> the quickness. <laughs> and so to, 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 to keep everybody abreast of a blood and guts slash war game match, this match will be two rings encased in a gigantic steel cage. Two wrestlers, one from each team, will enter. And then after a brief period, one wrestler from each team will enter, alternating each side. And once everybody is in, the match officially begins and can only end in pinfall or surrender. The interesting thing was... there... Wait, you can only end in... No, it can't end in pinfall. Uh, war, war games matches can, blood and guts matches can't. Oh, that's fucking horse, right? Fine. We we will we will discuss the 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 pin the pin four rules uh, at a later date. But the main thing is two rings, one gigantic cage, and eight very very angry men. Although we say eight, we know that on one side is the Sega Dreamcast, as you so greatly called them, of Sonic. I'm so Sonic, proud of that. Sonic, Sonic, Ichiban, and Kiryu, and on the other side we have. Springfield Sports Center, um, Homer, Matt, Bob, and somebody else. Now, I don't know who that. I don't know who that surprise could possibly be. It's obviously me. I mean, what surprise? <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's maybe it's you. Who knows? It would never be me because I would never be fighting against Kiryu in a chance. That is. That's so. true. That's true. You um, know, it's not me. But that that is our main event for September Scuffle. Your your first ever wrestling is silly blood and guts match i'm so excited um, it's not blood and guts though is it it's war games because you can win by pinfall the objectively worst kind of this match <laughs> i mean i can't believe i've already made you mad about about I, i'm so event. mad <laughs> why no pinfall what's the point I mean, I'll, like I said, I'll check the rules. I'll check with our refs in the back, but... Um... Yeah, see if you can remove it, because if if there's pinfall, I'm right in. 
Would you like a Would you like a short break to uh, to decompress? Yeah, sure. I need to I need to cool off. I'm really mad about this pinfall right. news. Um, <laughs> All right. All right. We, we, it should gonna... be submission or knockout. All right, we're we're gonna go for a quick break. Uh, two, we'll be back in two minutes time. In that time, refresh your drinks, empty your bladders, take your dogs for the quickest walk in the world. Uh, we'll be back in two minutes. But in the meantime, who is that Pokemon? Who's that Pokemon? Wrestling is silly. Are you all decompressed? Are you calm now? Um, yeah, I, I feel I, I need to apologize to my audience. <laughs> um, you know, that display of anger, it's not the real me, you know. It's just a moment of weakness, hearing about the pinfalls. You just, you just hate pinfalls you know, so much. I just hate pinfalls. In a special <laughs> match, what's even the point of pinfalls? So, well, but I'm sorry that wasn't me. Um, yeah, get the ukulele out. Get your apology video going. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> but e either way, that is going to be one hell of a match. A a blood and guts war games again. Whatever you want to fucking call it. Eight men. War games. Eight men. Two rings. One big fucking cage. No rules. They're gonna beat the fucking shit out of each other. And still the mystery eighth man going to be one hell of a match. You do not want to miss September Scuffle in two weeks' time here at twitch.tv slash queer buccaneer. And uh, before we move on to our next match, I just want to once again thank everyone for coming out and watching. Thank you to Zach for joining me on commentary. Everyone go follow Zach. He never streams except on my channel. Um, yeah, but, this is it. This is the extent of my streaming. So yes, honestly, but, don't go and follow but me. Follow save Zach yourself. Anyway. Follow Zach anyway. Let's <laughs> save, <go>. save yourself <laughs> a hassle. Well, actually, do you know what? It literally does not even matter because I'll never stream anyway. So it's not even like yeah. it's going to matter. <laughs> it's just, it's just, they just make number go off. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> And, and if you if you want to help support the show, make it a little bit better, make it a little bit cooler, you can do so at ko-fi.com slash wrestling is silly, where we have monthly tiers from two, two pounds all the way up to 20 pounds. And at 20 pound a month, you get to be on the show. You can accompany your favorite wrestler down to the ring or even do a run in if you want to. Uh, you have we also if you have fancy a little bit of misbehaving. If you fancy a little bit of misbehaving, you also get first uh, you also get discounts in our merch store. Uh, you get your name in the credits. You get um, you get uh, special roles in the Discord. 
Um, g g give us a fun fact about a man in his tiny jetpack. I... I'm gonna need some more context on that one. <laughs> give me the context and I give you the fun fact because... <laughs> A fun fact about Unless a man that's just, you have to give a fun fact about a man and his tiny jetpack. There is no context. Maybe that's it. Oh, did you know that uh, a man, uh, a man did invent a jetpack that was so tiny it actually just fit on his thumb? Um, but once he tried to fly with it, he flew thumb first and dislocated his thumb. Um, that is why jetpacks aren't tiny. That's why they go on your back. So, so you don't dislocate your thumb while you're flying. Ew. <laughs> But, uh, back to shameless plugging, um, if you, uh, we, we've got many tours there, and like I said, we have our merch store there, we have, uh, shirts for Unthinkable Horse, Springfield Sports Centre, Fight Boyfriends, Deity Dogs, and also... Oh, the... my new Fight Boyfriend shirt, it was so good, I'm so happy with it, so <laughs> yeah, definitely get one of those. And, and also we have our deathmatch wrestling and our hardest part of the ring and our HRT business generic wrestling shirts that just happen to be a bit silly. You can see all those at Kofi.com slash wrestling is silly. Um, thank huge thank you to our £20 a month It's Getting Silly tier supporter Ayakara and everybody else in the VR chat uh, watch party. Hope you're all having a fantastic time. Uh, anyway, enough shilling my least favorite thing to do let's go back oh to the you liar <laughs> you never sound so joyous as when you're trying to get people to give you money it's no it's i hate it so i hate shilling so much it's the worst <laughs> it's so bad <laughs> you know one thing that makes me sad about the fact that we um do the what what's it called when you like give a shirt company a design and then they print it for you uh print on demand that's the one um i thought it had another shorter name for it anyway um is I would have really loved to have been able to put uh, Fight Boyfriend fan club cards in with the Fight Boyfriend shirts, but <laughs> unfortunately I can't manufacture the shirts myself, so people have to go membership cardless. But hey, hey, you want to know I one of those shirts. What? We can actually do that. <laughs> <gasps> can we? Holy we can. Shit. We can include a Fight Boyfriend fan club card if you yes. want to. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, yeah, and then it won't just be me. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to join the Fight Boyfriend fan club, uh, give, me, give me a day or so to, to... Is it now a defunct team? Maybe. But we live in hope. We all Quite frankly, besties, I could really do with some <laughs> moral support right now if people would join the fan club. <laughs> <laughs> we just need just need a little bit of moral support, you know? <laughs> yeah. In, you, you know who else besties, needed... I'm reeling right now. <laughs> you know who else needed some moral support? I was a junior. When he joined yeah. Wrestling is Silly, he was in desperate need of moral support. He wanted to be a happy-go-lucky face with his new best friends, Diddy and Donkey Kong. But as soon as uh, a He-Man got involved, off like sizing him up for a title shot, the Kongs were having fucking none of it. I don't know why they're so mad, if I'm honest. Last week we saw He-Man versus Donkey Kong, and this week Donkey Kong wants to take on Bowser Jr. And I'm a little bit scared. I'm a little bit scared for Bowser Jr. But I live in hope, much like you do that the Fight Boyfriends are a thing. <laughs> they are a thing. It's just... Shut up! They're on a break! <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what do you think about this matchup? Obviously, I know you have beef against Donkey Kong because of the Fight Boyfriends. But, uh... Yeah. Well, you know, we hate him and Bowser Jr. is going to win. Is that, is that your... Is that your... That's my prediction. <laughs> that is your prediction. Everybody in chat, get your predictions in now. Let's go back. Let's go back down to the ring. Bowser Jr. versus Donkey Kong. <laughs> Do I need to start saying things like commentary is not financial advice when people are like betting? <laughs> commentary is not betting advice. Yeah. I like how even when he's fighting against Donkey Kong, he's still fighting for Don Kong Country. I mean, yeah, because... <laughs> fucking Don Country, then. <laughs> <laughs> he's fighting for Don Country. I think even even in Bowser Jr., because in Bowser Jr.'s head, they're still a team. They're still a unit. Um, yeah, which is cute. I like it. Yeah, he's, he's got the faith. Um, we, ju yeah. we, we, we just saw his dad get a win. Hopefully he can uh, continue the streak. Yeah. And 
his opponent, accompanied by Diddy Kong, representing Kong Country, standing at seven feet tall, weighing in at 562 pounds, Donkey Kong. That's a lot of beef. That is a lot of beef. Over 500 pounds of monkey action. Bowser Jr. is not even 200. It's going to get flattened. I think, did, uh, do you reckon Diddy Kong has picked a side by coming out with DK or? It's his dad. What the fuck else is he going to do? It's not his dad. Oh, no. It's... Wait. They're just, they're just buds. They are not just buds. They're... they're, they're... They're, they're I feel like my whole life is a lie. <laughs> Donkey Kong, they're just crushing the face of Bowser Jr. No, I'm thinking of fucking Bowser and Bowser Jr. I'm getting myself yes. so confused. These two fucking families, right? Fucking a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're both Kongs, so they are family, but I don't know like how they're related. They're not brothers? father and son, though. You know, I'm going to Google it. Oh. Big spinning D tornado DDT there from Bowser Jr. Donkey Kong with a little bit crazy legs there. Bowser Jr. with the cover. That was a longer count than I expected. The standing shooting star press though. Bowser Jr. using his speed to his advantage. And now just punching at the leg, the thigh, the knee of Donkey Kong. Again, just like last, just like the last match. If if Bowser Jr. can get on top, Donkey Kong is not quick. Takes a lot for him to power through, power back. Oh, the military press avoided into the sunset flip from Bowser Jr. Oh, still just a two count though. That could have been a very surprising upset victory. DK gets the boot up and the Banzai drop the ass to the face of Bowser Jr. Free Donkey Kong. And now just sitting in the corner, relaxing, waiting for Bowser Jr. to get back up. Really, really showing a lot of arrogance. Oh, Oracle Rana opportunity avoided. And oh, all the weight of DK down on Bowser Jr. Having to pull himself up by those ropes. There's an arrogance to Donkey Kong lately, and I'm not sure I like it. <laughs> Have you done your research? Are they brothers? Oh, okay, no. So, right, apparently Diddy Kong was created as Donkey Kong's son. He was an updated version of Donkey Kong Jr., but then Nintendo didn't like him. And yes. they were like, redo him, basically. Yeah. I, I, I know that, I know that, yeah. Rare, Rare designed Diddy Kong originally to be just Donkey Kong Jr., but grown up. And right, okay, that... Maybe that's where I'm getting it confused. And Nintendo were like, no, I don't like that. He can now be a I think guy. Just, yeah, I think they're just... So, he is described as... Donkey's little nephew wannabe. Nephew, that's it. Yeah. Well, it sounds like he wants to be his nephew, which well, is like, such like weird. The Kong, like the Kong tribe, they're all different monkeys, but they're all family. I don't quite know how it works. Yeah. Just mecking shit up. It sounds like. Yeah. Game devs have never done that. That was a junior though, taking control on the outside, rising knee strike, and beautiful Hurricane Rana. Diddy Kong almost intervened there for a second, but he he thought better of it at the last minute. Oh, Donkey Kong though. Again, the, the military press doesn't connect. The sunset flip. Just a one count that time. He's got to stop trying that because twice now it's been it's been avoided. Attempt. Oh, there was an attempt at a, as a super kick, but a power bomb instead for Bowser Jr. Donkey Kong with the cover. Kick out at two, though. We we know Bowser Jr. is a tenacious little fucker. Oh, super kick landed that time, though. And gets the cover. Just the two, though. One little guy. You've got this. Oh. He's up on top. Gets the lift into the Delfino driver. Fucking hell. Beautiful show of strength there from, from Bowser Jr. Gets the cover. Incredible. Holy shit. The Delfino driver out of nowhere gets the win for Bowser Jr. That was that was really impressive. Managing to lift the 550 pound Donkey Kong.
That that was an impressive finish. Mm. That Delfino driver is it impressive really is the word for it. it that is. that was a real fuck the haters, fuck the non-believers finish. <laughs> yeah. And I like really I was. really appreciate that attitude. Mm. It was uh it, it was it was an yeah, we, the, the, Don Kyung was kind of dominant throughout most of that match, and then all of a sudden, Bowser Jr. kicks in, and yeah, just just fuck the haters. He is he's here, and he ain't fucking around. Um, um I'm very impressed, but uh, and and, yeah. and I think and I think He Man is probably also very impressed. Um, he Man again, he's been scouting Bowser Jr., but uh, yeah, it has been. Has anything actually come of that yet? I mean, there's the, the I, I think he was kind. I think he was going to announce something, but he was waylaid by this whole Donkey Kong fiasco. Um, yeah. Uh... Speak. Speaking of announcements, um, I was a little bit distracted uh, during the break by having to, you know, calm down a very angry Zach. But dur during that break, um, Gus wanted uh, us to tell you. But after after the stare down against Colonel Sanders, he is intending to cash in his smiley case at September Scuffle. And because but apparently these are the rules, and he's a referee, so I'm going to trust him. Because he has declared a cash in, he will no longer have to defend the case between now and then. I don't that, know. That sounds fake. I mean, he's a ref, so I kind of trust that he's read the rules and he knows them better than I do. But when's the last time he? Um... That's the last time he defended. Uh, last week. And it's what every week or is it every other week? Every other week. So he'd still be a week. He'd still have a week there that he would need to defend. I mean, he mm. claims that he is cashing it in now, but the match isn't until September. It's mm -hmm. mm, he's, he's rules lawyering a little bit, but I suppose we'll allow it. I suppose because we will he's allow it. Looking very cool now. Mm -hmm. Um he is looking very cool and Gus Are you gonna Colonel say Sanders. no to Gus the Guillotine Taylor? Yeah. No. I, I'm not gonna say no to, to, to the Guillotine Gus Taylor. Um I'm gonna say yes, you versus Colonel Sanders for the men's world title the September. Me Scotland. versus Colonel Sanders? No, not me. No, 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 not you. Gus. Not not you, you, <laughs> you Gus. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, the the next match we are going to the tag division. Yeah. Um, but however, there has been. I love the tag division. I don't even know. I why love I the tag division. The tag division is fucking great. Um, there has been a last minute uh, change in this tag division. This, this tag match was supposed to be the uh, the snack pack versus the deity dogs. However. Doug Ziggler has uh, joined the saga, SAG after a picket lines in solidarity with his brother Ryan Nemeth. Um, all of this is true. Go and look it up. Um, <laughs> so uh, then because... maybe don't look up Doug Ziggler. No, <laughs> that's not going to help you. So, so uh, to, to honour him on the picket lines, obviously we don't want to pull anybody away from the strike. We support the strike around here. Um, we have substituted in a last minute change. So uh, this match. The Snack Pack versus God and Mr. Freeze. I'll admit he was the only guy in catering. Um, yeah, that it, <laughs> is definitely a weird pick. He was the only. Okay. He, he was the only guy was, in catering. He was the only guy in catering that had his gear with him. Okay, we. I we suppose it's probably cold up in heaven, right? Like that. That be the maybe. Uh, maybe that might have something to do with it. Again. Yeah. Um, uh, to be fair, last time we had a match like this, it was Abraham Lincoln and Freddie Fazbear, and that seems to have gone down pretty well. Um, yeah. Okay. So maybe they're surprises. Um, but again, maybe. But again, we. But I wanna... just don't think Mr. Freeze is ever going to replace Doug in the People's Heart. No, no, <laughs> no. This is uh, this is very much a uh, an understudy situation. Yeah. Um, the snack, the, the 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 snack pack. However, um, this is the first time we're seeing Pepsi Man since the. Uh, event with Garfield and Gus. Um, don't talk about the event. Don't talk about the event. Remain indoors. Um, <laughs> this is the first time we've seen him. Uh, this is the first time. This is also the first time anyone from the snack pack has talked to him. Apparently, there's been a little bit of a um, dis disparity. Maybe the wrong word. 
uh, there's been a little bit of uneasiness um, yeah. between Pepsi Man and the rest of the snack pack, but they wanted this single, they wanted this tag match this week. They, again, they wanted to take on the dogs, but Solidarity for the Strikes. So instead, the Deity Dog and Mr. Freeze. Uh, any predictions about this match? Um, honestly, because of the issues, normally I would say that whenever you have a sub in for a tag team, like it's basically guaranteed to go to the other team. Yeah. Because like it takes time to like get used to tagging with someone. Yeah. Um, but to be honest, because there's so many issues in the snack pack with Pepsi Man right now, it really could go either way. I was gonna say, and there's, there's not issues with, there's not so many issues with the snack pack. There's issues with Pepsi Man. It's been a bit of well, a Well, yeah, but they are representatives of the snack pack. True. Like he is being a representative of the snack pack. There's True. issues with the snack pack. True. Uh, so yeah, this this is this is very up in the air. Um, Pepsi Man, I. I, I I, I don't think Pepsi Man's over losing the case, and I think he blames the snack pack for that, even though they, they weren't there. But anyway, this is going to be yeah, an interesting match. However, some people's egos it. are like so big they can't handle the fact that they just, you know, they've dropped the ball. Pepsi wrestlers with big, with big egos. I c- yeah. Couldn't imagine it. <laughs> Could never imagine it. Let's get out to the ring, shall we? Before we make more inside jokes that people don't know. <laughs> The deity calls even the be- best I could do. Blame the strikes. <laughs> I see our uh, team name is around the strike as well. Where did Pepsi Man get those chains? Uh, I've never played the Pepsi Man game. Got to be a chain in there somewhere. There I don't is know a why he wears chain the chains. of events. There is a chain of events that led us here. And they are exactly. around his neck. Yeah. That's them. That's the fabled chain of events. Yep. Is he trying to make some kind of... St- I don't know what statement he would be trying to make. But, uh... Yeah, but it sounds really deep. And it does. And is not that deep. So he thinks that's deep. This is this is the like. Can you even see yourself with your eyes in the mirror or whatever <laughs> the fucking Jaden Smith was on about? Pepsi Man is Jaden Smith Twitter. Yeah. Realize, realize, realize. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now say say what you will. About. I know you're not a huge fan of Mr. Freeze. But he's a dependable workhorse. Yeah, he's won me back a bit. He can he can surprise you. I'm not totally upset that we renewed his contract this year. Yeah. <laughs> and he stepped in for Doug. He, yeah. You gotta Which give him kudos. Kind of king for that. shit, so. Kind of king shit. Allowing that. Doug to strike with his brother. Yeah. Sid. Sid? Why does that say Sid? Your name isn't Sid. Your name's Victor, not Sid. <laughs> maybe he's just trying something new. Leave him alone. Maybe. Or maybe, maybe he, he wants, wants to, to be Sid. Maybe he wanted to say Diz and he wrote it backwards, but what does Diz mean? I don't know. <laughs> Diz nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> Look at his little wingies. <laughs> Adorable little wingies. Oh, 
I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out some sort of did uh, uh, acronym something so no I got nothing the the D could be for dogs but I don't know what the S and the I are <laughs> oh yeah you, you're here for this top quality uh top quality commentary of me just making snake noises yeah something dog <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Wrestling is Snakes. I am your host, Snake. Joining me, Snakes. Yeah. Oh, I get to be multiple snakes. Yes, That's you. You have to put on multiple your, voices. I'm not good at voices. Your seven snakes in a trench coat pretending to be uh, a human man. Yeah. Honestly, that's accurate to how I feel. <laughs> You know, sometimes your gender is just seven snakes in a trench coat pretending to be a man. Yeah. Like... <laughs> sometimes it just be that way. Yeah. Luigi and Mr. Freeze opting to start the show. Mr. Freeze... Ooh, Northern Light Suplex. Beautiful, beautiful opening from Mr. Freeze. Grabs the leg. Gets the toe and ankle lock. And ooh... That was... That was an impressive technical display there from Mr. Freeze. Luigi got the rope break, but uh... Impressive, nonetheless. And yeah, Jedi, you send that to Rue. I want seven snakes in a trench coat pretending to be a man in Rue's gender of the day redeem. <laughs> Freeze gets the tag, and God is in the ring. God and Luigi, like two OG wrestling is silly greats. Like, these two were both wrestling is silly day oneers, and I'm so glad they're both still at the top of the game. The uh, German suplex into the short arm clothesline. And speaking of day one, as we're hitting all the wrestling is silly greats with the turkey dinner armbar from God. Is that the first one we've had today? This is the first turkey dinner armbar of today's What episode. is happening? We used to get those every match. We've only also had one Snake Eyes. Um, they're, they're, they're up in the game. They're expanding their arsenal. Um, oh... <laughs> Deadlift into the running power slam from God. Gets the cover. Just a one count for Luigi, though. Luigi, uh, God tagging back out into Mr. Freeze. A lot uh, For saying this, this tag team was very much thrown together, there's a lot of uh, cohesion between the two of them. Beautiful crossbody. A suspicious amount of cohesion. Almost like God's been cheating on Doug. No, God's just... God, God is omniscient and therefore knows mm -hmm. how to tag with everyone mm -hmm. i'm not oh. trusting this Powerbomb isn't it very convenient freeze. that mr freeze was the only one available hmm he just not trusting this scarecrow didn't have his gear with him uh yeah scarecrow was right. also there, but he didn't have his gear luigi though beating god off the side oh the toe and ankle lock once again but too close to the rope again Pepsi Man running in to make the save. Again, Pepsi Man reticent to tag out for, to tag Luigi out, but eager to make that save. Oh, gutbuster there from Mr. Freeze. Luigi's really getting uh really getting done over by these two. Crucifix bomb though. Not not going for a tag, not going for a cover, just letting him get back up. Very interesting choice for that from Luigi. <laughs> Diving shoulder from Mr. Freeze, tagging back out into God. I don't like that you're implying that God is cheating on Doug. Yeah, well, you know, the evidence is Doug, suggestive, okay? Doug's, Doug's on strike. God's making the best of a bad time. Yeah, but I'm just implying that maybe this isn't the first time. Okay, maybe it's the first time in public. It's just, it's just business, okay? <laughs> yeah, is it just business though? Does Doug know that? Doug knows. Doug, Doug, Doug knows. Does he? Doug, hmm. Doug I'm not sure. This. <laughs> I'm not sure. Pepsi Man in the ring there now. Oh, I would like a the... promo from Doug. We can't afford his cameo, unfortunately. Damn. <laughs> Big crossbody from Pepsi Man. Guess the cover. Just a one count though. God, not. Taking that line down. 
Oh, big kick there, taking God all the way to the ground. And a series of kicks to the head. Luigi gets the tag. God back in the ring. Oh, the roll and the stunner. Beautiful there from Luigi. Get the cover. Again, just a one from God. Luigi very uh Luigi's been watching these other tag matches because he's very eager to get the other man off the off the side. I've never noticed. Is God wearing Gita sandals? He is. He's been wearing Gita sandals since day one. Oh yeah, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't make a habit of looking at his feet. No. I just noticed the weird little like things at the bottom and I was like, wait, why? He is he is wearing <laughs> old Japanese man sandals. Yeah. Oh, oh the EGAT slam from Luigi! Out of nowhere, gets the cover. Mr. Freeze though to break it up, and now Mr. Freeze on the top rope. Threatening something, but made the right choice to, to lie back down. God though. Getting out of the getting out of the net control from Luigi. And big belly to belly takedown. God back in control. No, nope. Luigi spoke too soon. Luigi lays God on the ropes. And throwing him out of the ring. Pepsi Man can't quite decide if he wants to join in or not. Luigi slowly goes down. Oh, this does not look good for God. Powerbomb onto the apron, the hardest part of the ring. Luigi is uh, showing a lot of... Uh, Maybe channeling the, the animosity from the snack pack into the assault on guard, but whatever it is, it's working. Thrown into the thrown into the uh, turnbuckle though, and that has split Luigi open. Is Luigi gonna make it back to his feet? Or is this gonna be another win by count out? Meanwhile on the outside. Back suplex onto the apron from Pepsi Man. Oh my god, Luigi get in the fucking ring. Now the count has been reset by God. By, with that back suplex, the count was reset, so we're back onto a oh, two okay. count. Cool. God showing what he gave himself there. And belly to back German release German suplex there. Oh, Luigi's getting absolutely massacred on the outside. I think it's fair to say Pepsi Man not really pulled his weight so far. But uh, God returning Luigi to the ring. And oh, Luigi intercepts. And <laughs> is it a ground pound if he doesn't hit the ground? Well, There's God the ground, ground pound. There was the ground pound. Luigi with the burst of energy <laughs> out of nowhere. Just, I guess it's just a bum bash if he yeah. didn't hit the ground. But then he, he, did, he did hit the actual ground pound afterwards. Yes, he did after. <laughs> so it was a bum bash into a ground pound. Yeah. The, the, old, the old bum bash ground pound combo. Yeah. The, the, the BBGPC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Swinging neck breaker there. Seems... It's very back and forth between God and Luigi. I think one of them. What they, I think they both need to make a tag pretty soon. After all this, all this assault on the outside, that takes it out of both of them. Oh, knee strike avoided by Luigi. I think Luigi's Ooh. angry at God for making, uh, for God making Luigi uh, player two. Maybe. Codebreaker attempt there from Luigi. Countered by God, but God still got some of it. Into a beautiful Japanese style lariat from Mr. Freeze. Gets the cover. Pepsi Man making the break up there. God oh. is out for the count right now. Flattened by Mr. Freeze. Again, Pepsi Man making the save. And oh. Hammer and anvil elbow attempt by Mr. Freeze, countered by Luigi. Luigi going for the tag, but Pepsi Man just not having Pepsi Man leaving. Fucking got bored, dude. What the hell? 
I mean, Pepsi Man leaving, Luigi still want, wanting to fight on. I mean, we said there was animosity between Pepsi Man and the rest of the snack pack, but uh, I didn't think it was that bad. Luigi now in Maybe a... Maybe Pepsi Man is just a bit of a coward, to be honest. Uh, not the C word I thought you were going to say, but coward <laughs> might be the correct one. Huge elbow drop there from Luigi. Is he gonna take? Is he gonna take this to a win for snack pack? No. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> and now, oh, Mr. Freeze dangling off that top rope into that elbow. God is God is in a bad form right now. Oh, I don't know where they're going, but it's not good for either competitor. God's trying to fight back as much as he can. I think Luigi might be going for that avalanche Spanish fly that he uh, expertly stole from his brother's moveset. No. Avalanche poison runner instead. Spiking God down right on the halo, getting the cover center of the ring. Mr. Freeze, though. This is now a ha this is this is a handicap match now. Luigi's got to worry about two men, and it's only one of him. I mean, he's taking it in his stride now, but uh, how long can he cope, really? Huge Uranage there from God, taking that opportunity to get the tag, Mr. Freeze in. And this is this is just counting down. This has got to be just counting down. Until Luigi runs out of steam. Huge crossbody there from Mr. Freeze. I can't and believe a... you're not keeping the faith, to be honest. This I've is got... a handicap match for the Deity Colds. There's only two <laughs> of them and they've got to beat Luigi. What I mean, are you that's... talking about? I've always got faith in Luigi. But Pepsi Man barely pulled his weight when he was here and now he's gone. Yeah, well, he was barely pulling his weight anyway. Luigi don't need him. Luigi, sharp combo up on, oh, up into the air raid crash position, Ro ooh, sort of air raid rolling driver, it, 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 Luigi's always one for innovative offense, attempts, attempts a few strikes, oh, <laughs> misplaced pride there from Mr. Freeze though, and now Luigi seemingly taking out his anger on the chest of God. Haven't we all been so angry that we want to take it out on the chest of God? <laughs> He's so angry that your that your fizzy drink left you that you beat God up. Yeah. It's the dream, really. <laughs> Miss Frieza wrenching at that very same arm of pet of uh, Luigi, and now the foot right in the face, right in the throat, and the rope assisted power bomb not opting to get the cover though. Can't argue with a stomp on the gut. Sometimes you that's really all you can't. need. Big throw up on the top rope. We don't often see people of freezer size on the top, but he's got something in store. What is it gonna be? Oh, he didn't quite catch all of that lariat, but he got enough that mattered. Is he gonna get the cover? No, opting not to. Dragging him into into the corner. You gonna get the tag? You know, like Mr. Freeze is just being a little mean now. Maybe maybe he is, but uh... oh, a doomsday device from the two heavy hitters. God, getting the cover, and that is all she wrote. The deity colds take the victory. <laughs> The, the team of God and Mr. Free is an unlikely victory. But I think a lot of that was uh, the leaving of Pepsi Man. Yeah. I mean, not that that Doomsday device wasn't absolutely beautiful, I gotta say. Yeah, it was. But uh, that This is was... why you never trust a Pepsi. <laughs> this, is, this is why you're a Coke drinker. <laughs> yeah. But uh, what what is this? Yeah, drinker. <laughs> <laughs> But what does this mean? I, I mean, I, I say, what does this mean for the snack pack? I suppose there is no Pepsi Man in the snack pack anymore. I mean, they're, they're, yeah. they're very forgiving, but I don't think they're going to forgive that. 
They were already having a tough time mm -hmm. with him anyway. Why would they even bother? Yeah, I mean, as 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 he as he walked past us, um, he like we 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 heard him like murmuring something like it, 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 he was murmuring something about them like not being there for him. And I mean, when when were they not there for him? They were all like the whole point of the snack pack is they're all there for each other. Like oh, the only he's time just chatting shit, he's, 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 he's just talking just... as usual, just talking bollocks. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, shall we move on to something nicer, something happy? Sure. Um, the the September scuffle card is heating up. It is it is it is stacking right now, and it's currently in the microwave. Two is, weeks in the microwave, ready to go. It is it is slow cooking to perf to perfection, mm -hmm. and one extra match that is going to be in that huge uh, smorgasbord is the. Uh, a eight-man battle royale for the smiley case, the men's smiley case specifically, as uh, Gus has announced that he's check that he's um, cashing checking his in. in. He's checking it in, and it is going to be up for grabs once again at uh, September Scuffle. And two of the contenders in that battle royale are in this next match, and I'm half inclined to not announce who it is and just let uh, just let their uh, let the entrances speak for themselves. Shall we do that, or shall we announce? You can do that if you would like, as lead commentator. <laughs> I'm just here for the ride. I'm here for the kayfabe is dead kind of commentary. You are you are here for the for the can can do really good in kayfabe, but then we'll just randomly break it to uh, I don't know, yell at the dog or talk about yeah. how bad this game is. <laughs> yeah. So, I haven't had to do that since we swapped to two K twenty three. That's true. That's true. Um, thank, thank you to the to the generous Kofi donations. We were able to uh, upgrade to two K twenty three. Yeah, thank God. Because two K twenty two was fucking busted. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all the load times. Yeah, for real. <laughs> we've saved. Quite frankly, it's paid for itself in fucking not in, having to consider man hours, load times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, are we going to just let these two uh, let these two boys speak for themselves? The first two entrants in to the uh, men's smiley case battle royale as we are teleported to be live at the Apollo. Uh, see you yeah, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Oh, we're in Camarocho. Yeah. Mackie Chase, with the big yes chant from the crowd, he is he has very much captured the hearts, <laughs> captured the hearts of the people in the chat, in VR chat, and in the wrestling is silly theater as well. I mean, does it really matter who the other com competitors are? I think we all want no. Mackie to win. There is no wrestler more beloved than Mackie Chase. Not even Brian Danielson. <laughs> Not even American Dragon Brian Danielson. <laughs> Elephant's Cape says Mackie, but his title card says Mackie. The title card is a typo. It was written by the guy that does the announcing. It's going to take a while to be fixed. <laughs> well, you know, maybe he just wants to vibe it, you know? Yeah, he's, he's, he's trialing both uh, spellings to see which one people like more. Yeah. But who is he up against? Is that Webmaster or Venom? They are, they are increasingly becoming one in the same of recent weeks. Uh, Is that not how that works, though? That, that, so. It's kind of how the symbiote works. Um, yeah. The Webmaster shaking off the dark forces of the Empire and now seemingly embracing the dark forces of the symbiote. Okay, that was pretty sexy, though. I mean, it's, it's pretty sick. 
But, yeah. But he's still a dick. And... Yeah, but he can do sick flips, so maybe we should hear him out. True, true. He, he can do sick flips. Yeah. We've got to hand it to him. He can mm -hmm. do sick flips. But we have a good Spider-Man who can do sick flips. Uh, yeah, that's true. And has a cool trans friend. Yeah. So... Oh god, another one doing it. For god's sake. <laughs> but he's doing it in that little sort of Spider-Man 3 ironic style. <laughs> yeah, oh. okay. Chop to the back, chop to the head from Webmaster onto Mackie. Mackie, uh, Webmaster taking early control, stomping the hand of Mackie Chase. Mackie Chase, so often so close to winning the big one, can't quite get it. Maybe this is his time. Hope, fingers crossed, this is his time. Oh, springboard. Oh, the shoulders are hooked, and the spinning tiaras from Mackie. The running shooting star press as well gets the cover. Could this could this be a quick one? I mean, you don't know if you never tried, do you? I mean, you know, he's got parking. He needs to go. <laughs> the, the 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 Mac the Macmobile is only parked for two hours. He's got to be yeah. out of here. He's got <laughs> to pick up uh, the he got to pick up the Big Mac. Yeah. From soccer practice. Yeah. Mackie now. Oh, a beautiful backflip kick from Mackie. Webmaster having to lie on the ropes. Oh, Enziguri from Mackie. And beautiful baseball slide into the Hurricane Rana. The elegance. The elegance on show from Mackie Chase. Chance of this is awesome from the crowd. Webmaster, a pointed finger at Mackie Chase, telling him to stay down, but we know Mackie is tenacious. Beautiful shoulder capture suplex there from the Webmaster, though. And deadlift powerbomb holding through into the Psycho knee. Now, again, we hate him, but he can do sick flips. Yeah. And Spider-Man now returning fire with the spinning Tiaris. These, this, these are two of our prime high flyers. These are, these are flippy shit division at its finest. And Spider-Man have hammering that home, climbing up to the top rope. Six thirty centon gets the cover. Mackie is able to kick out though. Webmaster's got something. Prepared. What is it gonna be? Can Mackie avoid the handspring? Oh, expertly yes, the avoided <laughs> in the springboard dropkick, flattening all Webby. And a another sharp dropkick to the side of the head. Mackie back in control now. Snapping Hurricane Rana again. Real, real show of force from both of these men, showing showing how good our high flying division is. Oh, oh, Hurricane Rana into the octopus hold from uh, from the Webmaster, really stretching out all of those strains of pasta. Mackie, they're hitting the drop toe hold to to reflect. And while we're talking about our flippy shit division. Do not forget that at September Scuffle, it is confirmed. Darth Maul versus the Joker is happening for the Flippy Shit Division uh, Championship. So if you if you love this kind of high-flying 90s WCW action, you do not want to miss the September Scuffle. Beautiful Black Arrow there from Webmaster. Guess the cover. Still just a one count from Mackie. I think... The if if Mackie like let me just like fantasy book for a second if Mackie does win the uh, battle royale at September, I can yeah. see him cashing in on the flippy shit title because I think he's yeah. had he's had his eye on that title for a long time, and I think it's, it's so kind of where Mackie belongs. Yeah, I think. it's so perfect for him because yeah. he is like. 
He's probably the biggest face in the flippy shit division. Yeah. Oh, Webmaster though. Beautiful cutter from Webmaster. The reverse cutter there. Freya urging the two to get back in the ring. Webmaster throwing Mackie in. A rare, a rare obliging. And now Webmaster up on the top rope. But that's a long way to fly. Can he hit it? The 6.30 cent on connects once again. Dead center of the ring. Nowhere for Mackie to go. Can he kick out? Yes, he can. Holy shit. Mackie, one hell of a guy. I don't know what that is, but I love it. And I'm going to steal it. And I'm going to do it in all my matches. Oh, he's eyeing for another one of these... Backflip kicks. Is he going to hit it this time? Yes! Oh! There's a backflip axe kick. That's satisfying to say. Yeah. And another 630 cent on. Webmaster cover once again. This is, this, I think this is it for Mackie, I got to say. I feel for the boy. I really feel Oof. for the boy. He did his best. He did. But Webmaster, I mean, you can't discount the training that he got from the Union. And he's putting that to good use right now. Yeah. If only somebody had voted for Webmaster in the prediction, then they yeah. would have got so many Eden balls. <laughs> no, it's, 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 uh, it's booty. We have booty. We have balls, yeah. we have booty. Eden balls. <laughs> <laughs> They're not Eden balls. It's it's it's, it's Eden booty. It's it's. <laughs> what does chat prefer, Eden's balls or Eden's booty? <laughs> what's the what's the thing that that fucking Steed says in? Is it it's not is it a delightful booty? I have no idea. I don't um, remember. It's been a long time since I've watched that. Check, like, either way, check out this booty I'm hawking. <laughs> I I don't know why that didn't grip me as much as it should do. It's got gay pirates in it. I mean, that, you, that's you I, are like, on I record. love gay people. You are on record as loving the gayest, piratiest person. Yeah, like not only did I sign a piece of paper with that shit, I just I have a really good track record of like you know really liking gay people, and it just it didn't grip me. I don't know. And why I don't it know why. Um, I don't know. I don't know, but uh, maybe you should give it a try because I really liked it. <laughs> maybe it's that. Um, was it the Disco Elysium guy that was talking about like why uh, Harry and Kim never kiss? And he was like, because you know sometimes the desire is stronger if it's not fully fulfilled. Maybe it's that because a lot of the gay shit I like <laughs> is like real yearning. You stuff. do, you do like a slow burny yearning. I really love a yearn. I just love it when men are pathetic over each other. <laughs> You should watch Good Omens, then. <laughs> I, yeah, I really should. I've been trying to find the book. I want to read the book. but, but Okay, right. So it's a known phenomenon, right? When something has a really popular TV show, everybody goes out and buys the book. Yes. Right? Like everybody and, goes out and buys the book. And they reprint the book with the TV show. And they show reprint it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I saw that. That was in Waterstones. I didn't see Good Omens in Waterstones. It had, like, the reprint cover. Yeah. Um, it was a nice cover. Anyway. But what then happens is everyone goes, oh, I actually don't like reading. I don't know why I bought this. And then donates it to the charity shop. Or just like everyone read. reads it and donates it to the charity shop. But no, either way, they see... end up in charity shop. Okay, Eden, you should see the spines on these things. Like most of them have like the half-worn spine and then like stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> and I was like... halfway and then go, ah, oh, I'm just going to watch the show again. Yeah, they're just like, do you know what? I don't have time for reading. I don't enjoy reading. Um... No, there is no good omens in charity shops. It's like Damn. it's not happening. That's, it's that's not insane. there. And I'm but like, then, like no season, one season two just came out, so maybe they've all been bought again. Oh yeah, okay, that could be it. Apparently, the BBC Radio adaptation is good, according to Neil in chat, who has listened to the BBC Radio adaptations of everything. Um, so is it good? I like. Is is Neil the only person that listens to those? Yes. Uh, <laughs> There is a BBC <laughs> radio adaptation of, of like Batman Nightfall. And the only reason I know that it exists is because Neil told me. <laughs> the, the man has listened to all of it and he's, he is their only audience. Anyway, main event time. We can't get into yearning before the main event. Zach has gone dead. I don't know why Zach has gone dead. Back used to it. 
Anyway, main event time. Let's talk main event. I think that you hear. <laughs> I don't know what's happened. Um, I don't know if he's. Either way, let's talk main event. It is main event time, and we are returning once again to the women's division. Somebody at Jedi, it's women's division time. Are you back? No, not back yet. I, I am back. I am back. <laughs> what happened? You got dragged into the negative zone. No, I don't know what happened. That was really scary. <laughs> it was really scary. <laughs> yeah, it was. Well, you're back now, and that's the important thing. You're just in time. I don't like saying things and people not being able to hear me. You're just in time for the main event because we're, re we're returning to the Je we're returning to the Jedi division, which is the women's division. And it's another one of those, Tubi wants to show off another woman. She wants to showcase another woman's talent. This is how we found how great We Fit Trainer was. And this time, I've got to say, I don't trust the judgment as much, but this time, Tubi has found another woman with another completely different fighting style. Yes, Rachel, this is Tink and Audio's work, work playing in the background. Isn't it fantastic? I love it so goddamn much. Um, this time, she has selected a powerhouse of a woman for the women's division. We don't have a lot of powerhouse women. And we've seen this woman in the ring before, I think very briefly. But this time, we're going to get a proper showcase because we are getting our main event showcase. It is a non-title match, but 2B once again elevating another woman. 2B versus Miss Piggy. What do you think of these? I didn't think her showing was that brief, was it? Um, I mean... Compared to compared to like you know your bayonet as your your, your yeah yeah to be fair we have we have had some women that have been hogging the spotlight mm -hmm. yeah and which, Miss Piggy you know, characteristically a bit jealous um, uh, yeah quite frankly I can't believe Miss Piggy hasn't been one of the women hogging the spotlight I mean true but uh, what do you think what do you think of um, of both of these competitors obviously to be women's champ speaks for herself but yeah. Miss Piggy. And I mean, we just we just love Tubi anyway. We do. Like, we 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 love yeah. Tubes. Tubes is great. Yeah, she's not as good as Scrap Tubes, but you know, <laughs> like it's fine. I'll take second place for her. And I mean, Miss Piggy's Miss Piggy. What a fucking icon. She is. Like, she's an absolute icon. Find um, me anything wrong with Miss Piggy, and I will show you a lie. <laughs> so, for the last time tonight. Shall we go down to the ring? Do you want to do the Mark yeah. Henry thing? You can do the Mark Henry thing. Every, well, you always give other people. I do always give it to other people. Yeah, you do. It looks like there's been enough talk. It's time for the main event. Oh, and we're straight, straight to the ring, apparently. Bayonetta. Oh, Good Lord, woman. Girly, go away. This is not your moment. This is 2B's moment. It's Miss Piggy's moment. What is she doing? What is she doing? Tubes is oh, upset. She's just just taking it, just taking a seat apparently. Okay. I don't trust that as far as I can speak. No, not in the slightest. But but uh, to be Miss Piggy, let's go. Miss Piggy, straight out the gate, running in, throwing her out, throwing her back in. This is a fiery start from from Miss Piggy. She is a smoky bacon right now. Walk <laughs> <laughs> <Fuck> off. <laughs> but stopped in her tracks by the powerful ass of 2B, who gets the cover. Just a one count for Miss Piggy, though. Miss Piggy, not only Miss Piggy fighting in in stiletto heels, but also in a not very supportive dress. That is a, a very brave. But then mm. her look was always the most important thing. Yeah, which you know, fair. Yeah, she, she's got a thing. She's easy. And Miss Miss Piggy now struggling to go back to her feet. Two B hitting the uh, hitting the uh, back suplex into the submission there. Thankfully, two uh, Miss Piggy got the rope break and hits a massive STO onto Two B, really powering through. Hitting it, hitting a second one there. She is an absolute beast right now. She might be, the, yeah, uh, yeah. She might be the only one that's fighting in heels that aren't part of her body. I mean, there's, there's the evil old ladies. They also fight in heels, and they are just women in heels. But 
Piggy now up on the top and, rope. Are the androids not wearing clothes? Is that a part of them? I think I think all of their clothing is just part of them, isn't it? Miss Piggy there with a no, swanton that, bomb. Surely they can take those clothes off. They have to pretend to be human sometimes. I gotta say, I've not looked into it. <laughs> but uh, you're probably right. <laughs> Because otherwise the androids are all just never nudes, dude. They might be never nudes, it's fine. Fucking Tobias Funke wasn't lying, there's dozens of them. Tobias Funke is a Yoro engineer, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> the spinning back suplex, the big splash from Miss Piggy. Piggy in control right now. He is the mankind that they were talking about when yeah. they said glory to mankind. Glory to Tobias Funke. Death Valley driver from Miss Piggy. To be taking a, 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 a emergency exit, but that was a, 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 a she went full limp there, and Miss Piggy not letting her pause, hitting the power, the running power slam. She is a Miss Miss Piggy dominant display, and she always has been a bit of a dominant personality there, hasn't she? Very true, very true. But to uh, be she might be pushing herself a little bit too hard because she took that surprising loss uh, two weeks ago, maybe last week. And now she's struggling this week. I mean, to be fair, Bayonetta is being really weird. Ba there. Bayonetta is running a ragged. It's... I mean, Bayonetta yeah. just sat over in the corner in the cook chair. Like, it's it's, it's got to be weird. hard to focus when, when yeah. you've got Bayonetta breathing down your neck. So I can kind of <laughs> yeah. see, see why it's... In the cook chair. In the you cook can't chair. Miss out that bit. She's in the cook chair. She just got to watch. Oh, beautiful spinning heel kick there from from Two B, managing to regain her uh, composure. I think she's lining up for the katana kick. Yeah. And bam! Piggy down on the ground. Well, have you ever been fucking kicked so hard in the head the lights go out? Like... Yeah, it's it's. it's Bay Bayonetta has taken 2B's belt and seemingly wants to... Is, is she leaving with it? She can't be trying to leave with that belt. Can she do that? Like, is Clearly that she can't. I mean, she's she thought it was hers for a long time and Miss Piggy oh, taking the hell. opportunity to fucking spark her out there. That was one hell of a right hand from Miss Piggy. That was some fucking bullshit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just just a big splash there from Piggy. I mean, Bayonetta has said time and time again she believes the belt is hers, and I didn't think she was being that literal, but she just tried yeah. to walk away with the belt. <laughs> the STF attempt there from Miss Piggy, not, li not that 2B could kick out, or, sorry, tap out, but... Uh, that were just just wrenching at the at the knees and at the the the, the whole body of Two B trying to trying to sort of weaken her. She's not <laughs> a villain. She's just doing what she needs to do. Yeah. She's a woman she, about town. She's got business to take care of. She she took she saw an opportunity and she took it. I don't think that makes her a villain per se. Yeah. That was cool. That was a funky little sequence there from Two B. Guess the cover. To be getting the win. I think fueled by the anger of Bayonetta trying to steal a belt. I mean, that would annoy me. Yeah. I'm glad that she could channel it into a victory. Yeah. Uh, Miss Piggy, though, show, showed a very, very strong, strong showing. Again, like I said, you know, tell me a problem with Miss Piggy and I'll show you a lie. Like the woman's <laughs> perfect. We love her. True, true, true. So that is it. Your headline, Miss Piggy versus uh, versus 2B. 2B taking the victory there. Thank you all for watching Resting is Silly. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Zach, for joining me. Uh, thank you You're to... Welcome. Thank you to uh, Tin Can Audio for the beautiful music that you've been listening to in the background of the entire show. Honestly, I'm so fucking... Jazzed. What a fucking bopper! So fucking jazzed about how it uh, how it has come out. Um, 
I I spent basically all of today just listening to it and grinning to myself because ah, oh, it's so good. Um, and we've been we've been doing a thing where we end each show with if you liked this fake wrestling, you should watch some real wrestling. This is an unsustainable bit. Like, I'm going to run out of things. You know how long I have been watching wrestling, and it's not that long. And I haven't seen a lot of wrestling. And I put my foot down on watching more than two hours a week. This is unsustainable (laughs) for me. Basically, it's going to get to a point where all I can suggest is last week's Dynamite. (laughs) Just watch last week's Dynamite. Paul the Paul, thank you for gifting that tier one sub to Rachology, though. Thank you so much for... Paul the Paul, 20... Number one, number one... Sub gifter on the channel now. Dethroned me. Number one gift giver. Twenty-two gifted subs, and you've not been watching for that long. So that is that is ah. That is impressive. Incredible levels of support. Like since you couldn't subscribe. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, I oh um yeah recommend and wrestling. (laughs) Recommend wrestling. Um, Can I recommend wrestling is silly? Uh, You can, but it's got to be a real wrestling thing. Um, uh, I want um, to. Can I plug the concept of Kanosuke Takeshita? You, you can. You, if you can talk about Kanosuke Takeshita for a little bit, then. I mean, uh, do you actually ahead. want me to? Like, <laughs> nobody I mean, wants to hear me talk about him for that long. <laughs> yeah, I want to hear you talk about Kanosuke Takeshita. Tell, tell, tell the chat who who Kanosuke Takeshita is and why you love him. Well. Now I have to think of all wrestling history, <laughs> and this is okay. So here's here's a huge problem with why, quite frankly, wrestling is never going to be like I am never going to be able to do really good recommendations on wrestling because my memory is so poor that like after sort of a little while, these things all merge yeah. and they go into this pile where there's not a memory anymore. There's more like an emotion. Yes. And it's like, I forget individual story beats and it just becomes, it all gets merged into this, I like this wrestler or I don't like this wrestler. Um, I love Eddie Kingston. Do I remember why I like Eddie Kingston? No. (laughs) He's not been on for a little while. He's been doing other things and I haven't watched it. He's been in Japan beating up Japanese men. And honestly, it's been, it's it's made, seeing how happy it's made him has made me so happy. Yeah, I've seen some of that. Um, so I don't really remember the ins and outs of the stories on why I like him. I just remember that I like him. Eddie Kingston, Kanosuke Takeshita, type them into YouTube and watch some matches. I think that is Fucking, a good recommendation. I just, I kind of like Takeshita's energy. He's such a little scamp right now. Like, he is a real scamp right now. Being a goddamn fucking heel with Don Callis. What are you doing, Takeshita? Stop. But he's also like, he's also like incredible to watch in the ring. This, yes, he is. This yeah. man uh, wrote his master's thesis on the German suplex. That is how yeah. talented he is in the ring. Um, mm-hmm. My recommendation, complete opposite end of the spectrum. I am recommending this single match in chat. Kota Ibushi versus Yoshihiko. Oh, from, D- from DDT Pro Wrestling. Kota Ibushi, one of the most talented wrestlers of uh, this generation and maybe of all time. One half of the Golden Lovers Wrestling's first gay yaoi fantasy. Uh, Yoshihiko, a half inflated blow up sex doll. Excellent. We uh, love that. Yo- uh, Yoshihiko matches, um, they are incredible because it's one guy basically wrestling himself and like. This 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 blow up doll does like hurricane runners and suplexes and power bombs, and like it's just it's it's incredible. The um, the, the they're, athlete- they're certainly unique showcases. Mm-hmm. You've really got to give them yeah. that. Like um, it's it's just oh, it, it's a DDT pro wrestling match. DDT. Uh, if if you like wrestling is silly, you like DDT pro wrestling because they are maybe as silly as we are. Uh, for example, they have uh, a sex doll in their roster. They also have a, uh, a title called the um, he- uh, DDT uh, Heavy Metal Ma- Heavy Metal Weight World Championship that has been held by a book, a chair, two separate ladders, and everyone that was subscribed to their YouTube channel, myself included. Um, so that's what DDT is like, and this. Um, 
Kota Ibushi Yoshihiko match is maybe the most DDT Pro Wrestling match because it is, like I said, it is it is one of the greatest men ever to step into a wrestling ring versus a sex doll, and it is Excellent. one of the most entertaining ten minute matches I've ever seen. Um, Excellent. Watch it; it's great. So go and watch that. Uh, and then do Kingston. And then just Kingston. And then just do On Rampage, there was an Eddie Kingston versus Konosuke Takeshita a while back. That was a really fucking good match. Oh, um, fucking brill. So Google that. Search for that. I don't know if it was even a good match. It was, on it was, it was, it was Kingston Takeshita. Of course it was a good match. It, yeah, I was going to say. It can't really have been a bad match. <laughs> um, so that those are our recommendations for this week. Uh, we will be back same time next time. Uh, same bat time, same bat channel for the Go Home Show for September Scuffle, featuring Gus versus Gus versus Colonel Sanders, the Eight Man uh, War Games Blood and Guts match, and many, many more things to be announced in next week's show. In the meantime, we are going to do a little bit of a raid. My friend, my friend, the Formless Mist is playing uh, Return of the Obra Dinn, which is a game I've wanted to play for a while. So I'm going to raid into uh, into him. Um, in and then probably not watch because it's a spoilery puzzly game. Uh, so take your take your raid message, plonk it in chat, and then you can run away. Okay. But any last words before we end the stream? Uh, no, thank you for having me. Uh, you are you are always welcome on the show, as you full well know. You live here. Yeah. I would like to see you try. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm yeah. a fan favorite. You are a fan favorite. Chat loves you. Yeah. Um, yeah exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> and with that, book in here, book a file, wherever the book you are. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll catch you in the next stream. And love you. Bye. Bye. Stay fresh, cheese bag.